Hello and welcome to another episode of Protomet's First Impressions, a show where I talk about the first episode of any new Tokusatsu show. And in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the first episode of Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger versus Keisat Sentai Pat Ranger. Wow, that is a mouthful, and that roughly translates to Phantom Thief Squadron Lupin Ranger versus Police Squadron Pat Ranger. Now, if you can't tell just from the title, this season is definitely going to have a uh, two team, two Sentai teams facing off against each other at some point, probably on the regular. So, with that out of the way, uh, first, let's talk about the villains. The Ganglars. <laughs> Ganglars? What, however you want to pronounce it, uh, I like the fact that uh, these guys are clearly an organized crime gang. Um, and I do like how their motivation is pretty properly explained in the first episode. Uh, the, the, the main motivation for most of the Ganglars and their activities is that they're trying to become the successor to the Ganglar, become the, the new leader of the Ganglar organization because their boss is thinking of retiring and he wants uh, to give the the position to whoever can take over the world. Also they stole this collection called the Lupin Collection. Uh, not a whole lot of details are really given about that other than that they're basically mag items with magical powers. So, So in order to deal with them some mysterious guy who is implied to be a descendant of our of the fictional Arsene Lupin has hired a group of three thieves in, to steal back the Lupin collection, and that's where the Lupin Rangers come in. Uh, the Pat Rangers are kind of uh, off to the side for this first episode. I'll, I'll talk about them a bit towards the end, but now I want to talk about the Lupin Rangers. Um, I do like that there's a bit of mystery regarding what their actual motivation is aside from, you know, doing a job that they're hired to do, which is still a criminal activity. Uh, I do like that uh, they have quite a bit of a flair of going about their job, that is. <laughs> there, there is a pretty darn good action sequence towards the end of the episode that you really gotta see to believe. it's. Oh, mm, very nice, very nice. Not not something I I'm used to seeing in Sentai. So I'm kind of hoping that we get to see more of it. Um, but I also do like that as thieves, they uh, kind of have a. They're actually more like gentlemanly thieves, like the like the uh, the fictional Lupin is, which is nice. I mean. They, got, they kind of go by their own rules, but they're pretty noble and honorable, so, yeah, I like that. And their whole mystery oath to each other, which is something they're trying to accomplish, I like that. But, I do have to say that this first episode really does focus a lot more on the Lupin Rangers and not a whole lot on the Pat Rangers. It does give some development to the Pat Rangers, uh, like basically setting up the the three man team's basic personalities, and also showing their boss Hilltop and their robot assistant Jim Carter, which is a weird name. Like, like is is that supposed to be a reference to Jimmy Carter, or is that a coincidence? Is is there some other Jim Carter that I'm not aware of? I don't know. But again. A whole lot of focus isn't really given to the Pat Rangers. So this first episode is really to kind of help introduce the Lupin Rangers and then at the very end the Pat Rangers as Rangers show up. And as a result of that I kinda had to come to a decision with regards to this episode in which that I'm actually going to do a follow-up video next week, which I'm pretty confident is going to focus a bit more on the Pat Rangers and help explain their side of the story. So, uh, initial, if, if, you're, if you just watch this video and want my first impression, I'm actually interested in checking out more of this series 
mo partly because of the mystery that's going on in the background with some of the characters and the whole gang, the, the whole fight for dominance with the villains. I, can't, I call it fight for dominance, but it's, it's more like a, a battle for leadership. <laughs> but I assume it's going to have like rules or something, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so first impressions, I, would, I definitely am going to keep watching this and probably enjoying it. Um, so I would actually recommend checking this out. But, uh, I do want to hold off on giving f a full recommendation until next week's episode when I cover episode two. Now, again, I know this show is about talking about the first episodes of shows, but given that we've really only covered half of the title in this first episode, I want to I wanna talk about it more for next week, since I'm pretty sure that's like I said, probably going to focus a bit more on the Pat Rangers and develop them a bit more. So, as a result, um, this is going to be continued next week. Woo! Mystery! Woo! Uh, so, yeah, see you guys next week for another episode of Proto Mets First Impressions where I'm actually going to have a part two. Weird.